iOS apps have had swipe to delete functionality for as long as I can remember. But in more recent years, they've actually grown, so list row is gonna have multiple buttons, often on either side of the row. We get this full functionality in SwiftUI using a swipe actions modifier, which lets us register one or more buttons on one or both sides of a list row. Now, by default, buttons are placed on the trailing or right edge of the row, and they'll have no color. So we'll write some code now, and it'll show a single gray button when we swipe from right to left. We can say that we have a list with one row inside, just the text of Taylor Swift. Attach this some swipe actions. And right there, we have a button saying send message with system image of being message. And when that's pressed, I'm gonna print out hi, like that. Let's run this code back. There's Taylor, I can swipe right to left, and boom, there's our gray message button. I'm pressing that, prints hi. Now you can customize the edge where your buttons are placed by providing an edge parameter to this swipe actions modifier. And you can customize the color of your buttons by adding a tint modifier to them with a the color of your choosing or by attaching a button roll. So we can modify our code to display one button on either side of our row. We could say that this first one is gonna be, uh, let's do a delete one, for example. I could say here, there's a button saying delete with system image of uh, minus dot circle, for example. This is clearly a, a negative button, so I'm gonna add this, a roll of destructive, and then print delete like that. And then, that's our, our first one, Add a second swipe actions modifier now with an edge of leading to the other side. And then I'll say instead on this side, let's do uh, pin with system image of uh, pin. And then this can be just printing out pinning. Now for this one, it hasn't got a roll attached to it. So I'm gonna give it a custom tint by hand. I'm gonna say this thing has a uh, tint of orange. So it stands out nicely. Let's run the code back. Now I swipe right to left, I get that delete button, there we go. And the other way becomes our pin button, like that. Now like context menus, swipe actions are by their very nature hidden to the user by default. So it's important not to hide really important functionality in them. Now we'll be using them both in this app, swipe actions and context menus which would hopefully give you the chance to compare and contrast them directly.